Your left to right, head coach Tony Seaman, sophomore Matt Hughes, seniors Travis Love and Mark Ingerman. Again, this is Towson's first win over a top five opponent since April the 27th, 1996, a 13 12 victory at Johns Hopkins. They were ranked number five in the country for Matt Hughes today, his third hat trick in the last four games. Coach, an opening statement. I was the coach of that team in 96. Got a thousand beat. <laughs> this feels better. It was Hopkins. Yeah, this was, feels a lot better. And I didn't get 47,000 bad calls from the alumni. Right now, so it was a great, I mean, these kids did a great job. Travis Love was terrific, made some big saves uh, when we had to have him uh, made. Matt Hughes did a great job, put the ball in the goal. But nobody played better than Mark Ingerman played today. That's, that's their big kid, 23. <coughs> their uh, attackman who controls everything behind. He completely shut that kid out. He took the ball away from him. Uh, he was just uh, tremendous all day long. Um, it was a tough week. We played Maryland on Saturday, played Navy on Tuesday night, and then we played Stony Brook on Saturday. We had three games in seven days and uh, against good people. You know, really, really good people. A lot of them was a road game, so uh, there's nothing easy about that. And, uh, it's a challenging schedule. I've said it all along that the reason we do this is uh, the schedule we play. Well, first of all, the good teams are all around here, so you almost have to play them. But second, it gets us ready for our our uh, conference and uh, we move into that next week. So all the fun and glory is going to get enjoyed tonight and that really counts starting next week but for NCAA and all those kind of uh, the things that lie ahead of us. This is a huge win on your resume. And, uh, you, need these, you need a big, uh, a top five or six win in order to uh, have a committee really look at you as long as you can come in under 500. So we've got to look at that and uh, I'm just proud as hell of these guys today. So I mean, you don't, shouldn't ask me anymore, ask them. Questions for student athletes or Coach Seaman? Tell me, uh, after the Loyola game, you said you were you thought that that team had played as well as any team you've ever coached defensively. Could you talk about your defense today? You know, we did a great job except for 31 seconds in the second quarter. Oh, God. Uh, you know, two face-offs. And, and Peter, uh, Peter Mezzanotti played 21 today. Yeah, that's the... Uh, the, the Canadian kid who was so good, 21 crowd. Peter did a great job on him, and we, we kind of ball watched uh, from, uh, from the stands and, and left two guys wide open. They scored two goals in 21 seconds. Other than that, I thought we really did a good job defensively, very, very good job. I think they had a lot of trouble with our zone when we could get into it, and uh, we played that a lot in the second half, and uh, I think that was the difference in the scoring. So uh, for most of the game, I was real happy, except for those, uh, those that 30 seconds. Late in the second quarter, that was just bad mistakes in the defense. What did you feel you learned from Navy and, and the, the way the team bounced back? I don't want to play them again. Uh, <laughs> I, I was very impressed with Navy's ball movement and, and the stuff they did offensively uh, down there. Uh, I think we can, uh, we probably slid too much down there, and, and now we learned that we can stay a little bit tighter on our men and, and get matchups that we wanted. We were really, really confident about the matchup with Mark Ingram today. That kid loves to control the ball, along with 21. And we thought that Pete uh, as an eye, there's not another team in the country that will put a short stick on that kid, on Crowley. And, you know, Peter played him great all year, all, all day. He just got a couple of assists that he never should have gotten. Coach, I, I know this is just one game in a long season, but can something like this, you think, can you turn things around for your program? Yeah, it's better than one and five, that's for sure. Two and four, I'll take any day of the week. Uh, you know, we, we've been in every game, and, and I wasn't sure. I think I said to you the other day, I don't the phone that I wasn't sure if this team is good enough to kid me all this time and let me think that we're going to be good enough to beat some people. Uh, and maybe we're really not that good. And maybe uh, coming home Tuesday night on that bus, I was like, wow, they, my own team has really faked me out here. We're nowhere near as good as I thought we were. Uh, but today they made me a believer again. So, you know, maybe we do have a future, and maybe we can pull something out here as we move along. What about the face-off play and what you tried to begin and then play at the end later in the game? We, we knew that he's, he uh, is very, very successful. We knew that he killed us last year, he killed us this year, but we, we wanted to defend him so that he couldn't get a break. We didn't want to give up a fast break goal because of him facing off. So, uh, so what we did was we made him go backwards all day long, and, and Ian Mills did a really good job of that. And, even, even at the end of the game, he had to go back behind, pick the ball up, turn around, and then find somebody. I don't know if anybody watched uh, really closely on that play, but 21 had my long stick and took, actually grabbed his stick. This is a Canadian trip from box across.
but actually grabbed my defense and stick and threw it uh, away from him. And he almost lost it. If you saw, then he caught the ball and we just ticked it and, and he missed the shot. But uh, yeah, that's just an, an old box trick. So that kid, will, he'll be a little smarter next time if that happened happening to him. But uh, that's the, the kind of things that happen during games that you don't see a whole lot about. But facing off, you know, we knew he was good. I don't even, I didn't see the stats left. I, I know he won a lot of them. <laughs> but uh, we didn't give him a break, and that's what we wanted not to do. Matt, could you uh, talk about your confidence level right now? With three hackers and four years. Uh, I think, I mean, last year I was a little bit more hesitant, so this year I think I, I kind of stepped into my role a little bit more and kind of produced for the offense. So I've just been going out and doing what I've been doing day in and day out. So I know I can get the goal, I know I can score, I know I can beat just about anybody who's covering me. The confidence is sky high right now. What is um, the order's been clicking the last two games offensively? Great, great, everybody. I think we're all just starting to buy into to the whole offense and the schemes we've been working on in practice. We're all moving the ball. Uh, the first couple of games it was it was let's see who can score goals for us, let's see who can produce, and now it's a team game. Now it's we're getting more assists on our goals. We're, we're moving the ball well, and we're really just getting great opportunities at the goal almost every possession, and that's key. So we just got to keep plugging along. You talk about your, the offense is shooting over all day, above 66% for getting on goal and scoring about 30 35%. Uh, well, it's a lot better than what we've been doing in the past. So, I mean, it just shows that we've been working hard in practice and trying to get shots on goal, uh, not trying to look so pretty as much as we used to. But we used to just be all a bunch of prima donnas and when we go high and, and we get looking nice, but now we're starting to hit the cage a little bit more and not worry about how we shoot or what it looks like. Got that <laughs> Kevin, there was a shot late in the game, uh, and my notes are not good, uh, that you just got the top of your stick on. Do you remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. Who, who shot that, and would that have been a goal if, if you hadn't deflected it? Absolutely would have been a goal. Um, <laughs> but I saved it. So. <laughs> but, um, I think it was number... 20, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm just trying to look at the stick. Right. Give me a coach not to look at the people. Did you get a good look at that shot? Um, he, I mean, I got a good look at it because he came up, he beat the dude and was just coming down and I was just staring at the stick. But he went high, he beat me high already, so I was like trying to stay up. And I mean, got lucky. I mean, not got lucky, but got lucky. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. Is there anything about this swing or team shooting wise like across the board that really separates them from any other teams here? Um not not out there today. I know Stony Brook was some of my first action last year and that kid McBride every every time they had a fast break he didn't even look to the two low guys, he just turned and shot as hard as he could. And that was their offense. And it intimidated me. That was my first my first uh, real action and uh, I mean, I was thinking about it all week, like, this kid's got a cannon, he's going to turn and shoot, but I guess they scouted go low because I've been getting obliterated low, and he went low the first few times, and I was able to see the shot <coughs> and made the save, and after that, I think they were, they, the only things they really got was um, cross crease and, like, coming around and just, like, catching me and moving, getting, getting me to move, which is credit to them, but I think that's really where they got me, not really any, uh, not really, any, I, I mean, I would think I would say teams like Maryland had better shooters than than Stony Brook. Teams like that. What about the any thoughts on the player when you were out, out of the crease, um, trying to run back for the end line? And, uh, I think it was a end of the third quarter, you behind the bag and you took it off the chest. Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting to go behind the bag, but I was just trying to get big, and he hit me in the chest, scooped it up, and he went around the world and hit me right in the same spot, and I was just like, ow, yeah, like, let's go. <laughs> That was his only really take to the goal. He was he was just a feeder. Mark showed him down all day. I think those were the only shots that kid had. So I mean, we we just stuck to the game plan and shut it down. Travis, so much of this game for you and it becomes mental just to sort of forget about the Tuesday night and yeah. set in comfortably for the. I mean, I just came in relaxed. I was like, I was like. I mean, we can't do worse than we've done. Just come out, play our game. Like I, I felt like we should have won every game that we've been in, and unfortunately we haven't. But we came out. I mean, I don't, I don't see this as like a huge win that we're gonna sit and celebrate. Like tomorrow, even it's over with. But I think it really 
sets the tone for our team that when we go out there every week, we can play with any team. And we have been playing with these teams, but now we can beat these teams. And I think that'll be just just a little bit of confidence that will help our whole team just come out every week and kind of dictate dictate the game, not not let the game come to us. Mark, what was your strategy against uh, Tom Tom? Uh, well, I played him last year, and actually I went to uh, a tournament over the summer, and I got the chance to play him again. So I kind of knew a little bit about him, and Coach Natalin and uh, the rest of the coaches said he's like a stocky left-hander, and he's really just always looking to come back to the left hand. And, I mean, I kind of just sat on it and played from there. I mean, he's always, you know, you saw him put the stick in his right hand, but then, you know, add X or a step, uh, beyond, he's he's bringing it, you know, right back through. So if you sit on it, and you, you know, you be, I try to play discipline and work it all. Knowing that he's the quarterback of their offense, from, especially behind the net, how much pressure did that put on you to, to sort of match up against him? Well, I don't, I don't really know if there is that like a lot of pressure on me because the other guys around me are so good and so vocal and. You know, I know the slide's going to be there. I know, you know, if he gets a shot, you know, Travis is awesome in there. He's most likely going to get the save to bail me out anyway. Uh, the biggest thing for me was I was really disappointed after Navy. I looked back in that film and I think I might have got called out about 18 times for, you know, being in the wrong spot. So I wanted to have a good game today and came out with a mind, different mindset, really wanted to show the team that I can you know, be a good defender again. Mark, what is it about third quarter that makes you guys tough to score against? Well, the third quarter of this game was a little bit different just because the end of the second, we let up two, and we went back in the locker room, and we weren't really feeling that great about ourselves. And we just, you know, we gave them a little bit of confidence right at the end of the half there. And, you know, in the locker room during half, we said, you know, the first five minutes of the quarter are huge because, you know, we kind of gave them a little momentum. We want to shut that down right away. So and that's kind of where we aimed our focus for the third and worked out well. Tell me, how tough was that in the locker room at halftime? I mean, to, to, all right, what he's just, these guys, because all I did was scream, hit the walls, pound. I hurt my hand twice, I know, against the wall in the locker. So. <laughs> I, mean, I was pretty upset with the way we played in that final 30 seconds to give up those. We got an 8-3 lead going into the locker room. Instead of that, it's 8-5. And I know we're playing a team that's scoring 14, 15 points a game. So I'm like, geez, they are. I was not happy. I had it on the stage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I mean, I, and that doesn't help these guys for me to go crazy like that at all. So that, I got to do a better job of that myself. But uh, they, you know, they held in there despite me and uh, did, you know, we won. It's, uh, it's all that matters. So we go on to next week and then we get a tough Delaware team. We owe them a little favor from last year. We beat them in the regular season. They beat us to go to the NCAAs. So that was a tough one as well. One more thing, Sean McGuire pushing for some more playing time. Now. Yeah, we kind of get him through <coughs> now. I think he had about a, a good two thirds of the game. So he and uh, Layman and uh, Stratton were trying to push him through. We got the uh, scoring machine ball in here to use. He stays out there all the time. Learns where the you know, lines are for the box. <laughs> Any other questions? Gentlemen, thank you very much. Congratulations. Good job. Thanks.